హలో స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ బ్యాక్ టు మై ఛానల్ దట్ ఈస్ టెక్ టీచర్ శృతి ఇన్ లాస్ట్ వీడియోస్ వీ హ్యావ్ సీన్ అబౌట్ ఈవెంట్ క్లాసెస్ ఓకే విండో ఈవెంట్ మౌస్ ఈవెంట్ లైక్ దట్ ఆల్ ది ఈవెంట్ క్లాసెస్ ఐ విల్ కవర్ టుడే వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు సీ అబౌట్ సోర్సెస్ ఆఫ్ ఈవెంట్ దట్ మీన్స్ ఈవెంట్ సోర్సెస్ ఆల్ జీఎల్ elements which are derived from the component class are examples for the sources of a events and these event sources will generate the events and the following are the some examples for event sources which are available in a java the first one is a button this is the event source which will generate a action event okay for example you are logging into gmail okay you will enter a username and password you will click on a login button at that time login action will takes place and you will logged into your gmail account or else you are registering in one form you filled all the details in a registration form and you will click on a register button at that time registration action will happen and it will store all your information next is check box it will generate a item event means in check boxes we will list list of items okay whichever items we will need now we will select it we'll check mark on the check boxes okay at that time it will generate a item event okay these can be selected or a deselected at that time event will happen item event will be happen next is choice it will generate a it will also generate a item events here choice is nothing but a radio buttons okay for example you are filling a registration form it will ask male or female at that time we will use a radio buttons okay any one choice we have to made there okay either we have to select a male or female at that time if only one selection will be there at that time we will use a choice or a radio button and this will generate a item event next is list it generates the action events when an item is double clicked or it can generate a item also item event also when item will be selected or deselected list means suppose you are purchasing a groceries at that time it will show list of items okay you can either you can double click on those list of items or you can select sometimes it will provide a check boxes like that at that time you can select it or deselect it at that time item event will be generated suppose it is providing a option to double click on that item at that time action event will be generated next is menu item okay menu item means all of you seen that if you want to save a file at that time where you will go in a word you will go to file menu at that time list of sub menu items will be available there here this type of menu we can call as a menu items okay file new open save save as this we can call as a menu items and these will if i click on that items it will generate a action event okay if it is a checkable one at that time it will provide a it will generate a item events next is a scroll bar okay with a scroll bar we will do some adjustment and all no while writing a document or while adjusting a document or while writing a sorry while reading a document by using a scroll bars you can scroll and you can read a document at that time adjustment event will be generated this is also an example for event source next is it is the text components okay these are the these will create the text events when the user enters a character when text components is nothing but whether it may be text field or a text area okay 
next is window okay it generates the window events when window will be activated deactivated when we close a window okay when we will open a window at that time window events will be generated so window is also a type of a event source or this is also an example for a event source see here these are the some examples this is the button this is the check boxes this is list of items and this is the menu item okay under color menu there are three items are available we can double click on that or sometimes we can it it will provide a checkable items also okay this is the choice or a radio button we can call these are the scroll bars this is horizontal this is vertical and this scroll bar is disabled now see here these are the text components enter a text is there only a we are entering that is nothing but we are entering some characters in that text box okay and this bigger area is there no you have typed a, a that is little bit bigger so we can call that as a text area these also are we can call these as a text components these are also a sources of a events next we will see about event listener interfaces as i told in event delegation model it contains two main components that is event sources and listeners when event is generated event source must be registered with the corresponding event listeners okay and most of the event listener interfaces are available in a java.awt.event package and which are those several event listener interfaces that we have listed in this box okay here first column contains a event next is when it will generate next is the corresponding event listener interface next is which are the methods that interface going to implement okay the first one is a action event when it will generate when we will press a or a click a button the corresponding event listener is event listener interface is action listener and action per performed method should be implemented or it should call a action performed method to handle a event okay we will see one by one now the first one is a action listener interface this interface deals with the action events like a clicking a button okay and it defines the action performed method okay when action event is generated at at that time it should call a it should register with the action listener interface once it registered with the action listener interface it will call action performed method to handle the action event next is adjustment listener interface okay this interface deals with the adjustment events means by using a scroll bar we will adjust no at that time adjustment events will be generated right okay next it uses the following methods okay to handle the adjustment event the adjustment listener interface will call or it will invoke adjustment value changed method okay and this method will be called when adjustment event will event occurs at that time adjustment value changed method will be invoked by adjustment listener interface next is component listener interface this interface deals with the components event and this inter uh, this interface invokes four methods when component is resized moved shown or uh, hidden okay component hidden method will be called when component will become hide 
component mode when component is mode at that time component mode method will be called when component is resized at that time component resized method will be called and component shown that method will be called when component is shown okay this is the component listener please make correction in that okay there is a mistake as a adjustment listener that is a component listener okay thank you